guys, this is Solomon from Solomon in Demons and today we're gonna be checking the PV Invective MH. We're gonna be using my Hammer Arch Top loaded with EMG Marty Freeman pickups and we're also gonna be using my PRS Mark Holocom 7 string. This is a 20 watt amp with EL84 valves on the power section. It has uh, two channels, uh, one lead and the clean of course. And it has presence resonance that can be used in both channels and also the lead channel has uh, some extra features and I'm gonna be trying to cover all those features in this video. We're gonna start with the clean channel. Now we're gonna add some delay and reverb to see how the amp adapts to pedals in the clean channel of course. Now we're going to the distortion channel. We take out the effects. And like I said, in this part of the amp, you can only use the presence and resonance. The gate, tight, and boost can only be used in the distortion channel. So this is how the distortion channel sounds. We're not going to use the gate first. This is without gate. Now we're gonna put the gate, the gate has only one option, this is how it cuts. So now it's time for the boost. So now we're gonna add some effects to the channel, the same ones that we use for the clean one. Uh, river and delay. Same settings. We 
take out the flex and we check the tight option. Oops. When we check the tight option, I add more gain on it. Otherwise, it sounds too flat. Swap guitars to the PRS Mark Holcomb. So, so I just swapped the guitars, and with this one, we're gonna stay in the distortion channel. I'm gonna be comparing the boost and the tight option, and I also gonna be comparing the gate that comes from the amp with a external gate uh, with a pedal or rack, whatever you guys have. I'm gonna be using a 14 soul, and I also gonna be doing the final mix with this guitar, the one you guys hear in the beginning of the video, and. By the end of the video, it's gonna be like the extra features that the amp has, like uh, the MSDI or USB option. Okay, so keep checking. This is with the tight option. the tight and like I said if you remove the tight you gotta take out some distortion right by the way that's how I like the EQ in the entire amp that's how that's why I didn't deal with the EQ and how the resonance and presence I like it to be final part of the video we're gonna be comparing the gates okay so I'm gonna stay with the boost only the distortion is in two and this is the amp without the gate of the invective hope you guys can hear the noise this is with the gate Now, this is with external gate. Once again, without the gate, with the pedal gate. 
take out the pedal. We use the invective gate. There is a little bit of hum in the back, but for me it sounds good for recordings. And the final version of the video, the final mix, we're gonna use the gate of the invective. So that's what is coming. And if you wanna see the extra features of the amp, like the USB, the MSD out, just stay until the end of the video, okay? But the mix is coming. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is directly from the MSD out of the PIV Invective through my interface. This is the USB out.
so this was my video for the Pivin Vective Mesh and I really really like it uh, so far I had tried the PV65 uh, MH in the past and the Valve King MH in the past um, from all these amps I think that the Invective is the best of them especially if you want to play metal and it's, it's more versatile uh, I really like the tie features and the gay feature uh, so yes that that's what I think. Um, hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe and like. Thank you so much.